To everyone who has been grinding experience in Pokemon Legends Arceus, look no further. This video is going to give you a guide on how to gain uh, unlimited experience without even having to be looking at your game. And even further than that, some people watching this video will be able to do this automatically. You don't even have to be in your house while your Pokemon are farming experience. You'll be able to get level 100 for your entire team while sleeping. And I'm going to show you guys how that all works. All right, so welcome to the game and the place where we're going to be farming our unlimited experience. Now, a lot of people, especially the people who are following me in the middle of the Sword and Shield days on YouTube, will have seen me do a lot of stuff automatically. Now, there's multiple ways to actually engage with your Nintendo Switch automated systems and all that stuff to have things being performed in game automatically without you even having to do that. And I'll show you guys what that is. For everybody else who does not have access to the systems that I'll talk about soon, in this video for that, uh, you will have a very, very easy time doing this regardless. Everyone will still be able to do this method without even looking at their game. It's as simple as that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the training grounds and at some point during the main game, a little late-ish into the main game, you'll get a quest that activates Ingu here who's going to allow you to fight other people, right? You're going to be able to fight different people. And it might be different for everybody depending on the state of the game, I'm not actually sure. But I have the entire list because I'm in the post game here at least. So we're going to be having Wenton at the top of our list who has a bug type, who has a Gastrodon and uh, he has a Jolteon too. So we just need to make sure that we have a Pokemon that can kill all of those. For everybody watching this video, the first thing and the only thing you have to do to set up is to make sure you have a Pokemon that you know can one hit the first person or maybe two hit the first person in the list. All three Pokemon are the first person in your list. Okay, so mine is going to be Samurott here. And also you want to make sure the moves are the first move. The move that you're going to be using is the first move in the list. So I've moved my Aquatail up to the top here, which has 85 power, it's stab, and it has accuracy of 90, which is perfect. So we're going to be using Aquatail to do that. Now, if you are using automated systems, which I'll, again, I'll talk about soon, uh, you I recommend having an 100% accuracy move move as well as something that's over 85 power and stab okay because you want to make sure you are killing everything like without dying yourself that's very very important okay so let's go ahead and show you guys what's happening so this is my alpha replacement for my starter all right guys so once you've set up and everything is good to go and you know you can survive and kill the enemy team no matter what just by hitting a you're good to go just come over here and stand right in front of ingo and that's when the easy part starts you just start spamming a and you can tap tap a tap a, a all day long if you want and this is why it's so easy to automate as well if you do have a method to automate it which i'll go through and uh just i'm just i'm just doing it myself i'm currently just manually hitting a uh, by myself, just on my controller. I don't even have to be looking at the, at the computer right now. Or I, I don't have to be looking at my game at all. Uh, I know my my Samurai will be able to get through this entire fight just by hitting A with no problems. I one shot his Mothum. Like they're level 55. My Samurai's level 77. I am in post game. You will need a very strong Pokemon to get through all this just fine. He goes for double edge. Does like nothing. He even gets recoiled. Like it's perfect. We'll go ahead and Aquatail. I mean, he could have easily used an electric move, but it wouldn't have hit me. It wouldn't kill me. It would have done about half, maybe less. And either way, there's another one out of the way. And his last Pokemon is Gastron. Like, his mix is actually quite difficult to try and find good coverage to account for everything that he has so we can make sure we get through it all. So it's kind of difficult. And it might be different depending on who's on top of your list. But either way, okay, so he goes a few times. Our Samurai survives pretty handily. Uh, using Dialga is a good method because you're going to make sure you survive, I guess, or different Pokemon. Just pick anything that you know will work. So I got through this entire fight just by hitting A, and I gained 3,600, 3K experience for everybody in my team, which is extraordinarily easy. Even at this high level, you can see quite a chunk. And if the A spamming is just continuing, you just go right into it again. Nothing changes. You just It just repeats itself, and nothing happened other than A button being pressed. And here we go again for round two, and you can see how much experience I'm gaining in such a short amount of time. It's been two minutes, so about two minutes for that much experience. And now we're into the second fight uh, with two minutes just gone, just passed. And we just go, we just go around the roundabout once again. A spam here. 
So looking at the situation where if you do in fact faint, especially while you're not looking, if you're doing the A spam and it's automated as well, you're gonna be stuck on this screen. So you definitely don't want that. Make sure you are winning these fights at least three times before you leave it to automate, okay? And then you should probably be pretty good without the, without the occasional hiccup and just occasionally check up on it if you need to. Okay, so now for the next and very interesting bit, how can you automate this method and this process? Well, well, I'm gonna go through all the methods that you can do this right now. The first most obvious and easy one is the turbo controllers. If you guys have a turbo controller in which you can have the controller by pressing a couple of buttons, you can have it just constantly spam one button, A, uh, then that's easy. Some people will have this and you'll be good to go. Then that's just it. Just make sure you guys set up with the Pokemon and all that and you're good to go and you can farm unlimited experience just like that. Next one is using Joy-Con Droid, which was something I did use for Animal Crossing in the past and Pokemon Sword and Shield in the past, which allows you to use a mobile phone as a Nintendo Switch controller. This is a mobile phone app, so keep in mind, you will be able to find it in your store. It works by connecting via Bluetooth to your Switch. However, since update 12 on the Switch, it doesn't really work for whatever reason. They changed something with Bluetooth connectivity. So from now forth, uh, using Joy-Con Droid requires a rooted phone and Magisk, which is an upgrade to your Bluetooth system on your phone. So you're gonna have to set that up. If you do have a rooted phone, you will be able to use it. You can also use an Android emulator on your PC if you have a Bluetooth extension for your PC to connect to the Switch. That's an alternative method. This app does have a way to set up a macro, so you'll be able to set up a macro in order for it to just repeatedly press A, a very, very simple one to do. Another method is using a device like this, which extends into your Switch, which you can do automated things with. I'm not going to advertise any particular one because I had did have a deal with one a long time ago in Sword and Shield and we used one of those to great effect for automating raid hosting and all sorts of stuff. And that's complicated. That's not just pressing A over and over. That's complicated uh, different macros that allow you to press all sorts of different buttons, timings and all sorts to actually host raids for people automatically in Pokemon Sword and Shield. You can imagine how difficult that might sound in order to automate, but we did it. And there's loads of different types out there, Raspberry Pi, Switch Up, and whatever, the Titan, and that's the Titan is the one I had to deal with. So there are loads of different ones out there that you can do to do automated work like that. And considering that it's only A, P, pressing repeatedly, it's very, very simple. Other than that, guys, it's just you pressing A. That's the alternative way. If you guys are watching TV and you're just like, you're just, kind of bored, you're just kind of doing on something on the side and you want to focus on something else, just do it while pressing A and that's that's gonna that's gonna be good enough. And you guys will be able to farm unlimited experience without even having to worry about anything going on in the game. Of course once you do the setup correctly and you'll get your Pokemon team to level 100 in no time at all. Really super super fast stuff. Very very easy to do. I'm doing I'm not even looking at my game. My game is not on my screen at all. I'm looking at my OBS which is full camera right now and I am gaining experience doing that. So that's how easy it is, folks. Guys, thanks very much for coming and watching this video. Hopefully this helps you and hopefully you have fun with the automated systems. A lot of the OG subscribers will already have some of those systems to play around with and automate it. So you guys will have an advantage. But for anyone else who isn't doing it, I don't really recommend going out and buying new stuff unless you really, really want to. But uh, it's really an easy way to just farm experience either way. Who knows, we're probably gonna have another easy way come up for rare candies or whatever is going on uh, in the near future so hang tight if you're on the fence about something like that and until then you can use this method to level up your team i'll see you guys around the next video don't forget to drop a sub until then guys bye